Howdy folks and welcome to Brain Rotters. We got new character posters for both Nick Fury and Black Widow for this Wednesday's new What If Episode 3. So let's talk about how it's a, the episode where Loki invades Earth earlier than 2012 and what it means for Nick Fury assembling the, the Avengers or what's left of the Avengers. Stay with me. We know that this episode will be taking place after Thor reclaims his hammer in 2011. So that means we will have Hawkeye, we will have Black Widow. Fury goes to Iron Man who, who will be recruited from his 2011 an Iron Man 2 sequel and Hulk most likely but for sure Captain Carter might join the cause in this what if episode if what if episode 1's ending is canon to the reality that we will be seeing in this episode 3 but by the looks of things it does seem like Thor could be dead in this episode considering the way Nick Fury is looking at the arrow that is in either the ground or someone here but the fact remains that Loki is still invading and Nick Fury needs to assemble the Avengers and then there is the fact that Iron Man might have died from the poisoning he got in Iron Man 2 from his arc reactor from a metal in there called palladium meaning Tony Stark would have died if Black Widow hadn't cured him of his palladium poisoning in 2011 in that diner scene so essentially all Nick Fury has to fight the coming invasion is the boots on the ground Avengers like Black Widow like Hawkeye like shield which means we could see Coulson get a few action scenes in there or something and I don't think that shield wins at all I think instead Loki wins and they all essentially die by the hands of Loki right here. I get that from this scene where Loki is storming the United Nations and the fact that he is likely taking over the world because the Avengers, the strongest ones, are all dead and there's no one to stop Loki anymore. In this episode though, we might get scenes from Rumlow or Crossbones as he is seen right here in the episode, so who's to say he won't have Hydra team up with S.H.I.E.L.D.? I mean, S.H.I.E.L.D. and Hydra both now have a common enemy and a little enough heroes to stop Loki, so I could see Hydra also interfering with the Loki conflict. Conflict too. We also know from Endgame that the Ancient One interfered with Loki conflict in New York defending the Sanctum from the Shatari, so we could see the Ancient One and possibly a few sorcerers from the Sanctum like Wong, like Mordo, interfere too. Hey, you made this far, you might as well subscribe if you're new as well as hitting that bell for notifications so you don't miss another video just like this one. This episode, essentially, will see the world begin to adapt without having the strongest Avengers to defend themselves. So we will see the underdogs take on the big bads in the coming conflicts. And even if they defeat Loki in this reality, you know, have to wonder how they defeat Thanos in this reality, too. I mean, after the last episode, leaving the groundwork for a new What If episode in the future, what if this one leaves the groundwork for a new What If episode? Like, maybe what if Hank Pym created Ultron instead of Bruce and Stark? I mean, in the comics, it was Pym who created created Ultron and how else would Ultron come to be in this reality if Tony Stark is dead it also seems that Loki takes the destroyer to Jotunheim to kill Laufey his real dad in the episode just based on the background ice environment here thank you all so much for watching do you agree with me what are your thoughts on episode 3 coming this Wednesday let me know all your thoughts in the comments section below thank you all so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next one and thank you for subscribing and all the massive support